Malfi dog's coats are a bit unique in that they don't have the dense undercoat layer that other dogs will have. Instead they just have a single layer or a single coat layer of hair. So that basically means it's just uniform hair in one layer only, whereas a dog like a Golden Retriever will have a very dense, thick uh, undercoat which helps protect it. Our Melshi dog does not have this dense undercoat layer. She just has one single layer of hair. Due to this single layer of hair and the fact that she doesn't have the dense undercoat layer to shed, a Melshi dog is considered a hypoallergenic dog. So that basically just means that they don't shed hair throughout the year, or if they do, it's a very small amount of hair that would drop out naturally. And seeing that the Mousy dog isn't shedding a dense undercoat throughout the hotter periods of the year, it's, it's not releasing hair, it's not releasing the detritus from the skin that's attached to the hair, which is thought to be a problem for people with allergies. So a common reason people buy a Mousy dog is because of its coat and its coat is thought to be you know, maintenance free compared to dogs that shed hair but this is not totally true their hair is quite thin and quite wispy and it's quite easily tangled so you do need to actually maintain the dog's hair the dog's coat by brushing it quite frequently some people will just opt to trim off the hair or shave the hair which is fine you can shave a, a mousy dog's coat but you just have to keep in mind that will affect the dog the way it affects the dog is during the night times it will get quite cold and then in the summer heat it can easily get sunburned we keep the hair nice and long during the winter months to try to help keep our mousy nice and warm but it is very wispy and thin. Um, it's, it's a bit like human hair, but much finer. If you've seen some of the other videos, you might have noticed all the different outfits that Wookie wears. The, the funny part is that she actually enjoys this. I think she enjoys the attention of when we put the clothes on her. And as well, I guess, in those colder periods, I think she actually appreciates that we're trying to keep her warm. During the night, we try to provide Wookie with a nice warm bed. So we find she really enjoys sleeping amongst uh, pillows or blankets. We don't directly put blankets over the top of her, but she, she'll normally find a blanket to curl up on and snuggle into to keep herself warm. Even if you let your mousy dog's hair grow out, you will find on a hot summer's day, they can actually still get sunburnt. The hair is quite fine and the sun finds its way through the hair quite easily. It doesn't take much effort for you. if you brush the hair to the side a bit, you can see the skin quite easily. So you need to try to protect your dog as much as you can from the sun and as well from the cold because the single layer coat the Mousy dog has doesn't provide much protection from the cold or from the sun. So come night time we often put a sweater on Wookie to try to keep her warm or a shirt. We just try to choose a piece of clothing that will stay put and won't wrap around her or, or trap her legs inside easily. So we normally pick fairly tight fitting clothing, which looks a little bit silly at times, but it helps pack down the hair and keeps the dog just that much warmer during the colder nights. Personally, we would not keep our Mousy dog outside, especially during the colder periods or overnight. We just feel that the coat would not keep her warm enough during those periods of night time. During the winter months, we can see Wookie shivering at times and that's definitely when we know we, we should be starting to put jumpers and sweaters or shirts on, onto her. One thing to keep in mind is 
if you don't have the time to properly groom uh, your Malshi dog and you choose to shave the dog in those winter periods, we would suggest that you definitely pick some form of clothing that they can wear to keep the dog warm. Towards the end of winter, when the weather's starting to warm up a little bit more, we do shave Wookie. Their coat can tangle and form knots quite easily. We do keep on top of it, but we find the longer the hair grows out, the more knots um, will start to form and it's, it becomes a bit more of a chore to constantly try to maintain the coat. So once the weather starts to warm up, we do generally shave her, which is fine. You can shave a Maoshi dog. We always leave you know, a nice bit of hair on. It looks a little bit more attractive and it's nicer for the dog. But then you do have the problem that when it comes to hotter days, and especially if you're in the outdoors, you, you need to really protect their skin. As it is, the, the hair is very fine and you'll find a Maoshi dog can get sunburnt quite easily. Once you have shaved your dog, then this will be even easier again for the dog to get sunstroke or to just get badly sunburnt when you're outside with the dog. You'll find if you're taking the dog for swims like we do, if you've seen our kayaking videos, uh, our dog loves the water. The only problem we find is that when she is wet, the, the hair is so fine as it is, by the time it gets wet, it, it gives the skin nearly no protection at all, and you can easily see the skin through the hair. So when we take our dog out in the sun, especially if she's going swimming, we take care of her by putting at least some sort of swim shirt on which may look a little bit silly, but it's we do it to try to protect her skin from getting sunburnt and to try to protect her from getting sunstroke. During the hotter periods of summer, we never take our dog out into the full sun during midday heat. We always try to either go out in the morning or in the late afternoon. When she is having a swim or when we do go kayaking, I try to put a towel over her for most of the time and to try to protect her from the sun as much as I can.